What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today EA did a podcast and kind of hinted at some things. They never would give a real concrete answer, but they did talk about some things that are going to be coming or kind of some ideas, you know, of just kind of throwing things out there about how excited they were for the month of June and some other things coming for the month of May. First of all, like I said, they said that the month of June was going to be a really good month for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, of course, EA Play, you know, is right before E3. That is in the month of June, so maybe they're going to be talking about some Battlefront 2 things at E3 or at EA Play. We do know that they will be talking about Jedi Fallen Order. That's going to be the first time they really show much off about the game. So we know that's going to be part of it. I know a lot of people are looking forward to that new single-player Star Wars game. But I'm hoping they will bring some stuff with Battlefront 2 also. And I would assume they would be, or really the EA directors wouldn't be playing it up as big as they are. Also, they said um, that they will be having an additional content kind of drops throughout May. They said it was going to be just like small things here and there. Kind of just little bits here and there is how they worded it. Which makes me think we're probably going to get some more skins um, for any character. You know, whether it be heroes or just your regular trooper style characters. Hopefully we'll get some nice looking skins for those. My main thing I kind of took from this was that they said the game was still going strong and it just keeps on going. So that makes it sound like to me that DICE and EA are really getting behind this game even more than they were a few weeks back. It's like... Every time they release something or talk about the game, they're just talking about how well the game is doing. So hopefully with this June update, I'm hoping we'll get some big updates in June with some new heroes. The main thing I would really like to see is more maps and mainly more weapons. Some more weapons for each class would be a great thing in my opinion. If you could get like one or two weapons, new weapons for each class, something else to unlock, you know, and unlock attachments for, I think that would be a fun grind for a lot of the players, especially if you've been around for a long time and you have everything unlocked already. Also, there's a lot of things they could do within the classes. They could add new gadgets and things of that nature, but I'm really hoping for some new weapons because that is one thing I think the game does lack is, is weapons. Now, I know that's not everything in a game because the weapons we have are good, but some of them are a lot better than the other weapons within the class, and of course, there's only four in each class, so new weapons would be great. And new maps are always a great idea as well, along with new heroes. There's tons of hero ideas out there on the internet. People would love to see within the game. Hopefully, we'll get some of those heroes as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on this kind of just hints that EA is talking about. Do you expect a big kind of showing of Battlefront 2 at EA Play, or do you think it's going to all just be Jedi Fallen Order? Hopefully, we'll continue to get great things for this game throughout the year. Because like I said in some of my past videos, this game has become an absolutely phenomenal game over the past several months. If you have not played it, you better start playing now. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.